I'm Mr. Grinner, and here are my creatures. Welcome back to another episode of Mr. Grinless Creatures, but on today's episode, do you remember when I paired my Samapoas Amernia twice, and the link will be down in the description if you guys want to go watch that first, but I've kept this a secret for quite some time now, and we did in fact get an egg sack, and I've left the egg sack to a certain amount of days. I've pulled it, and that is what this video is about today, but it's not what you expect. I don't know if I've put saying in the title or the thumbnail, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not a good one. It's quite a sad one, if I'm honest, and uh, yeah, you learn from your mistakes at the end of the day, whether it was my mistake or, or something, I don't know, but yeah, it happens. So anyway, I'm going to play this first bit of footage for you. So I don't know what it is, but for some reason, my tarantulas just love dropping the sacks as we go to pull it. don't know what it is. The Harheni done it. Pia Mernia have done it. Hopefully many more do it as well, because it'd be a lot easier. Although we did do one the other night, and oh, I'm just going to tell you guys now. Basically, <laughs> oh, it's funny. Like, I was holding the camera. Craig had two pairs of tweezers. I had a, um, where is it? I think it's here. I had, like, the paintbrush. 
and we're all like, he's down on one pair of tweezers, he's down on the other, I've got the camera in one hand, I'm in as well, and it was just absolutely nuts. I'm not gonna say which one it is yet, so stay tuned for that video. It was honestly like a battle for the ages, like it was just absolutely nuts. But anyway, let's open up this sack. So I don't know what you're all thinking at this point, but opening up that sack, I was a bit like, why are they not eggs with legs at least? And then I saw one in there. I saw one in there. And yeah, I was a bit confused because that egg's developed and all the others haven't. So yeah, anyway, let's open up that sack.
So the footage at the end of that clip, when I opened up the sack a bit more, I started to realise that that's... I don't know, that must have been where the egg sack started to go bad because there was a lot of eggs stuck together. There was, It was just... It was a right mess and I should have recorded it a bit more. And I, th I thought I did, but whether I've, I've deleted it or not, who knows. But yeah, it, that part of the sack was very bad. So I was a bit concerned at this point because, you know, I've got three Piamonias that are there and developed and then I've got all these eggs. So I spoke to a couple breeders, etc., and they said, you know, it's it's probably a bad egg sack, but keep the actual eggs to, just to see if they develop, because you never know, they might. But these three Piamonias are just absolutely beautiful. Just have a look at this bit of footage, and this is them a bit further down the line as well. So absolutely beautiful, like, yeah, <laughs> just beautiful. And I'm now going to show you the eggs as well. So the eggs did in fact go bad. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you the footage now. So yeah, at the end of the day, guys, you can't win them all. So, you know, I had a Hamori egg sack where she ate it. I've had a good couple of successful egg sacks as well. And then I've had this one where I've opened it up and it was bad. So I've never, you know, come across an egg sack like that yet. But it does happen and it will happen in the future as well. At the end of the day, I wanted to get into breeding because I just want to try it. And it, it sort of fascinates me at the same time. So, but yeah, fingers crossed for next time because I'd love to uh, try and pair Piamonias again one day. But uh, yeah, we'll we're, we're have to wait and see, see if we get a male. I'm going to wait for the female to molt out again before I even decide if I want to pair her again because I've got so many actual things that <laughs> need to be paired. And uh, yeah, I think I might not pair anymore for a while if that makes sense. But I really do hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it's, it's sort of given out some awareness that, you know, egg sacs do go bad for those that don't actually know. Like, it doesn't always work out. 
But if you could like, comment and share, that would be absolutely awesome. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon so you're notified of when I upload next. Oh my god, I've forgotten. I've got membership now, three different tiers, so if you want to help and support the channel, then there's a link down in the description, and there's a join button down below. Just want to say a massive, massive thank you to every single member. Honestly, you don't know how much it helps me, so thank you. Anyway, Mr. Grinler's done here. So are my creatures, so are my Balfouris, and my free Piamonia slings. I'll catch you later, guys. Have a great week. Peace. <laughs>